Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. The essence of leadership is storytelling. Through stories, leaders create the charisma that inspires others to follow. Yet many business executives don't see themselves as natural storytellers, overlooking one of the most powerful tools at their disposal. What if storytelling could be the secret ingredient that elevates your business pitch, project proposal, or conference presentation? Stories have the unique ability to reach the heart, shift perspectives, and ultimately inspire action. They transcend facts and figures, engaging listeners on a personal level and fostering lasting connections. Storytelling isn't just a modern trend, it's one of the oldest forms of communication. From ancient times, people gathered around bonfires to share stories that passed down wisdom, built communities, and sparked imaginations. Today, the power of storytelling remains just as impactful in the business world, where the ability to craft a compelling narrative can transform your leadership approach. In this summary, you'll learn how to tap into this age-old art and discover how storytelling can bring your vision to life in a contemporary setting. Chapter 1 What's in a story? You don't need to be a novelist or screenwriter to be a great storyteller. In fact, if you're a human being, you're already a storyteller. Think about it. Every time you share a funny anecdote with a friend, reminisce about a childhood memory, or analyze a sports game with a teammate, you're telling a story. It's something we all do instinctively, but there's a reason why stories resonate so deeply with us. Cognitive scientists have found that stories are hardwired into our brains. We use them to make sense of the world and our experiences. This is why storytelling has such power in business. It's the best way to grab attention, make your brand memorable, and drive action. But how do you tell a story that actually works? It all starts with understanding the elements of a great story. Let's take a simple example. Drew woke up. Drew went to work. Drew came home. Drew ate spaghetti. Drew went to sleep. Technically, this is a story, but it's not a very good one. It's just a list of events lacking the elements that make stories engaging. A great story has six key elements. Character. Your story needs someone for events to happen to. Whether it's a customer, employee, or even a brand, this character is the anchor for your audience. Setting A good story takes place somewhere specific, providing a sense of time and place. Struggle This is essential. A story is about someone who wants something but can't easily get it. Pulitzer Prize-winning author Robert Olin Butler said stories are a yearning meeting an obstacle. Without struggle, your character may be happy, but they'll also be boring. Pursuit What will your character do to overcome their struggles? Will they succeed? These questions keep your audience hooked until the end. The Pivot To elevate a story, you need an unexpected twist. A pivot surprises the audience, keeping them engaged and making the story memorable the payoff. Every great story ends with a meaningful takeaway. Whether it's a revelation, a resolution, or an insightful conclusion, the payoff leaves a lasting impact. In business, too many marketing stories fall flat because they lack these elements. The typical case study, a customer had a problem, this product solved it, is a story, but it's not a good one. It's true all over again. To tell a truly impactful business story, you need the struggle, the pivot, and, most importantly, the payoff that leaves your audience thinking. Chapter 2. Ask the Right Questions We don't tell stories just to share information. We tell them to inspire change. Whether you want your audience to act, rethink, or appreciate something differently, a well-told story leads to transformation. But when most people set out to craft a presentation or pitch, they start with three common questions. How can I explain this? 
How can I clarify this? How can I help people understand this? These questions are useful for sharing data, but not for storytelling. The true power of storytelling lies in sparking curiosity, not merely providing information. Instead of overwhelming listeners with facts, a great story draws them in, ignites their imagination, and lets them experience something firsthand. It's about appealing to the logic of the heart, not just the mind. Where data leads to knowledge, curiosity leads to discovery and transformation. So how do you cultivate that burning curiosity in your audience? Start by changing your approach in three core ways. First, ask how you can help your listeners discover meaning. Rather than explaining, use personal stories that resonate on an emotional level. For example, I once missed a major deal because I was too focused on the details and not the relationship. It taught me that human connection often matters more than the perfect pitch. Has anything like that ever happened to you? Stories like this invite listeners to reflect and apply your insight to their own lives. Second, consider how you can help your listeners experience the story. Research from Princeton neuroscientist Yuri Hassan shows that the brainwaves of listeners mirror those of the storytellers, meaning they experience what's happening in the story as if it's their own. For instance, instead of explaining a dry sales statistic, tell a story about a customer's struggle to find the right solution. As you describe their frustration and relief, your audience will feel it too, turning abstract data into a relatable experience. Finally, think about how you can equip others to share their experiences. Storytelling expert Jack Zips believes that the role of the storyteller is to awaken the storyteller in others. Encourage your audience to share their own stories by asking questions like what's a challenge you faced that taught you a valuable lesson? This turns your presentation into a conversation, sparking deeper engagement. Remember, storytelling isn't about giving all the answers. It's about guiding your listeners through questions and letting them connect the dots themselves. Chapter 3. Use Stories and Anecdotes What's the difference between an anecdote and a story? Picture this. You're in a meeting, and a colleague shares a quick, funny incident about a recent client call gone wrong. It's a great way to break the ice, but after the laughter dies down, you're left wondering, what was the point? Now, imagine another scenario where that same colleague shares a story about a time they navigated a tricky negotiation, showing how they adapted and ultimately sealed the deal. That story doesn't need further explanation. It stands on its own, leaving a lasting impact. So, why does this distinction matter for corporate leaders? An anecdote, while engaging, often needs clarification or a follow-up explanation. A story, on the other hand, connects on a deeper level, tapping into emotions and experiences without needing to spell out the takeaway. While anecdotes can be great for introducing a point or breaking the ice, stories resonate more profoundly, creating a lasting impression. Both anecdotes and stories are valuable tools in business communication, but they serve different functions. Think of anecdotes and stories as two useful tools in your storytelling toolkit. Thanks to the serial recall effect, the idea that people remember what they hear first and last, combining the two can make your message even more effective. Start with an anecdote to hook your audience, then close with a story to drive your message home. Anecdotes are natural. After all, we use them in everyday conversation without thinking twice. But in a business context, it's important to resist the urge to over-explain after using an anecdote. Let it stand as an opener or a way to introduce a theme, then transition smoothly to your main point. When you wrap up with a story, you leave your listeners with something memorable, inspiring them to reflect, relate, and perhaps even take action. In short, anecdotes and stories don't compete. They complement each other. Together, they can transform a simple presentation into something that resonates long after the meeting ends. Chapter 4. Avoid Common Pitfalls 
Storytelling can be a powerful tool for corporate leaders, but like any craft, it requires skill and attention to detail. The ability to captivate an audience, inspire action, or make a lasting impression depends on how well you avoid common storytelling pitfalls. Whether you're sharing a personal experience in a presentation or illustrating a key point during a meeting, there are six mistakes you should always steer clear of to keep your stories impactful, authentic, and engaging. First, don't plagiarize or distort your stories. Authenticity is key. Your life is filled with rich experiences, so lean into them. It's tempting to exaggerate for effect, but your audience will connect more with genuine vulnerability than polished fiction. Second, don't skimp on preparation. Great storytelling isn't just off the cuff, it's a skill that requires planning. Pay attention to how masters like Martin Luther King Jr. or Robin Williams capture their audience's attention through word choice, timing, and body language. Third, don't make yourself the hero. Audiences will engage more when you share your mistakes, not your victories. Show them how you learned from failure, and they'll see a more relatable, human side of your leadership. Fourth, and conversely, don't be a victim. You want to stay in control of the story, even when recounting challenges. Audiences appreciate strength and vulnerability, not self-pity. Fifth, know your time limit and stick to it. A concise story is always more impactful than one that overstays its welcome. Finally, don't be predictable. Keep your audience engaged by adding an unexpected twist or surprising insight. Trust your ability to hold their attention through curiosity rather than over signposting. By avoiding these six storytelling mistakes, you'll be well on your way to sharing tales that resonate and inspire your audience. Chapter 5 Use Humor Strategically Humor can be a powerful tool for corporate leaders, but it's also one of the most intimidating. What if the joke doesn't land? How do you keep it appropriate? The good news is that there are five specific strategies you can use to weave humor into your stories without risking awkward silences or crossed lines. Here's how to boost the humor quotient in any corporate storytelling while keeping it both effective and professional. First, offer a unique perspective on the truth. Identify what your audience already believes to be true. If you're presenting at an ecological conference, for example, they're likely to agree that taking action against climate change is important. Instead of trying to surprise them with something outlandish, add a riot or comic twist to what they already know. A kindergarten audience might not need convincing that Lego is cool, but they'll appreciate a funny observation about how stepping on a Lego feels like stepping on a landmine. Second, exaggerate for effect. Within limits. Hyperbole can be a humorist's best friend. For example, if you're recalling a scary childhood neighbor saying Mrs. Smith was a thousand years old and had fingernails as sharp as knives paints a vivid, funny picture. Your audience knows it's not literally true, but they'll connect with how it felt as a child. Third, laugh at yourself. The safest target for humor is always yourself. Recounting moments when you were naive, overconfident, or even downright wrong creates connection and endears you to your audience. Poking fun at yourself helps avoid the risks that come with making others the punchline. Next, know your audience. Tailoring your humor to your listener's background, culture, or field is crucial. A joke heavy with wordplay might fall flat with a multilingual audience. But humor about universal human experiences, like awkward moments or shared struggles, will resonate. Finally, trust your audience. Don't overexplain or backtrack. Trust that they'll get the joke and, if they don't, gracefully move on. Pausing after a joke can give them time to connect the dots, but if it doesn't land, just keep going. By following these strategies, you can introduce humor into your storytelling in a way that's both engaging and appropriate, leaving your audience entertained and connected. Chapter 6 Crafting Story-Centric Presentations 
To master the art of storytelling as a corporate leader, it's important to weave together all the principles of great communication. Here's a roadmap for effectively integrating storytelling into your presentations. 1. Hook their attention. Start by grabbing your audience's attention with something surprising or unexpected. This sets the tone and makes them curious. For example, you might begin with, did you know 90% of startups fail because of one overlooked mistake? Now your audience is wondering, what's the mistake? You've piqued their interest and they're ready to listen. 2. Tickle their funny bone. Once you've captured their attention, warm them up with humor. It doesn't need to be a full-on joke, just something that builds rapport. For instance, if you're speaking to a group of managers, you could say, managing a team is like herding cats, except the cats have KPIs. This creates a sense of shared experience and lightens the mood. 3. Anticipate objections. Before diving into the heart of your story, address any potential objections or questions. For example, you might be wondering, why is storytelling so important in business? Isn't data enough? Tackling these doubts up front clears the air and prepares your audience for the main content. 4. Make impact with honesty. Tell your story in a simple, direct way without over-explaining. Authenticity carries weight. For example, share a moment when you made a difficult decision. I once had to let go of a product that I believed in because it wasn't right for our market. It was tough, but it taught me that the best decisions aren't always the easiest. 5. Evoke emotion. Emotional appeals deepen engagement. Share stories that stir emotions, be it frustration, joy, or empathy. For example, describe the passion of a startup founder overcoming incredible odds to secure funding and how that tenacity inspired you. 6. End with a call to action. Conclude by asking your audience to take a specific action. For instance, now that you understand the power of storytelling, I challenge you to share your own story in your next pitch and see the impact it makes. With these steps, your presentations will go beyond just information sharing to inspire, engage, and motivate your audience. Final Summary in this summary to The Art of the Tale by Stephen James and Tom Morrissey, you've learned that storytelling is a powerful tool for corporate leaders to connect, inspire, and drive action. By using humor, sharing honest experiences, and evoking emotion, leaders can captivate their audience and end with a clear call to action, transforming presentations into memorable and impactful experiences. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, keep striving for success.